is graduation day in Mokoa, a city located in the south of Colombia. The joy of this achievement is reflected in the eyes of all participants. For 12 months, this group, comprised of young, adults and elders from different indigenous peoples in the Putumaya region, has been working hard to become innovative and to train better leaders for their communities. By the end of this year, 120 leaders, women and men representing 20 indigenous peoples in Colombia, Peru, Ecuador and Brazil, will have participated in this indigenous territorial governance training program. This innovative program focuses on building capacity for these leaders who live in their communities in their territories. It supports them with practical tools and methods to solve the problems that their communities face in their daily life. Five key facts about the Indigenous Territorial Governance Training Programme. One, innovative and group design. The design stage of this programme started in 2014 and lasted for two years. Forest Trends and WWF worked hand in hand with Indigenous organisations and university partners from these four countries to outline the programme and to choose the best curriculum aimed at training new leaders in a changing world. The curriculum includes 10 topics, among which we may mention Territorial and Community Governance Indigenous Laws and Legal Framework Indigenous Economy Financial Administration Climate Change and Public Policies 2. Capacity Building for Territory-Based Leaders The programme gives preference to community members who usually do not have access to capacity building programmes, even though they are key to territorial governance. The four participants chosen by each community or organisation, at least one must be a woman, one must be young, one must be an elder, the living memory of traditional knowledge, and one must be a community authority. All of them must have a vocation to lead. 3. A 12-month dual education programme. Unlike other capacity building courses that may only last a few days or weeks, the Territorial Governance Programme is scheduled over a 12-month period. There are six on-site timeframes and five in-between intervals. During the on-site sessions, lasting for one week every two months, students gather in a training centre or in a community with the teachers of the various modules. During the five intervals, students return to their respective communities where the training continues with the community practices they carry out with the support of an Indigenous mentor. 4. Training Projects in Territorial Governance This is one of the most important elements of the programme. Students gather in groups over a 12-month period to develop a project on territorial governance to be implemented in their communities, one that doesn't require financial help from external sources. This hands-on application has one purpose, to consolidate all their knowledge and integrate the topics included in the curriculum. Students agree on the topic of their formative project with their respective communities. During this year, students have developed a project on the role of women who collect seeds as a strategy to increase food security, learning from elders to strengthen territorial management with ancestral practices and methods of control and monitoring aimed at the protecting sacred sites from external threats, amongst others. 5. Regional curriculum with local tailoring. Although the various Latin American indigenous territories face some common problems, each country and region has its own diverse issues. Therefore, the curriculum developed at a regional level is then adapted according to each local context. This adaptation is done by the Comités Pedagogicos Locales, local pedagogical committees, made up in each country by a university, one or more indigenous organisations and other strategic partners. Thus, all the content is tailored to the specific needs and context of each country and region where the programme is deployed. Thanks to this endeavour, the programme has proven to be a strategic approach to strengthening capacities in governance or territorial management. O sea, son muchos factores que el programa nos ayudan y que y que si nosotros lo ponemos en práctica cada día con esas actividades que nosotros realicemos nos vamos a enriquecer más en conocimiento y vamos a poder seguir trabajando en los procesos comunitarios. Me siento capaz de enfrentar cualquier situación y sé cómo dirigir y sé cómo orientarme y sé a dónde recurrir. ¿no? He pensado este ser una mujer líder de la comunidad. 
asumir un cargo porque hoy en día también las mujeres tenemos derecho a recibir un cargo, ¿no? Algún, alguna organización. Pues yo quisiera decirle pues a todos los que me están viendo, pues que apoyen a la causa indígena, apoyen a más escuelas de formación en gobernanza territorial y pues que vean a, los, a las personas jóvenes, a los niños, porque sabemos que ellos son los que van a liderar en un futuro nuestra comunidad.